is going to be how to expose this villain, how to find out about this villain, how to let the course of true love uh, run us. And then there's another couple. Um, and the first couple are named Claudio and Hero. The second couple are named Beatrice and Benedict. They're already in love. Um, they're madly in love with each other, but they don't know it. They think they can't stand each other. They hate love. Um, there's one, she, uh, Beatrice at one point says, I'd rather hear my dog bark at a crow than a man say he loves me. Uh, she thinks that crows are more sincere uh, than men. Um, um, and so that's the second plot, and these characters who are in love and don't know it, and so are about to ruin their lives themselves, they don't need a villain. Um, they um, um, uh, have to be tricked into realizing their love. So I leave you at this point of suspense. Right. Are they going to be tricked into love? Is the horrible villain going to be defeated? This cast is fabulous. You're going to enjoy this play. And I'm delighted to see you all here. Um, I'm a, uh, retired. I, I don't see how you could possibly guess um, that I'm a retired Shakespeare professor. <laughs> Squeeze, squeeze over to make room for seats for more people. Because this room is pretty warm. Thank you, Judy. Um, we are waiting for a few more guests. And while we're waiting, I'm going to hand out some uh, programs that uh, tell you the cast for our play. So uh, we may not have enough, so some people may need to share. Thank you. I'm glad that there's going to be some um, idiot police in this play. That's a special touch for your <laughs> I'm going to be very anxious for the performance to start. Um, and I just want to explain one thing about the police is that um, when Shakespeare wrote this play, many of the um, uh, people who would be likely to see it were illiterate. They, they, they're not reading well. Um, most people are getting information um, by ear. Um, and um, so to be able to read is a matter of great, great pride. And um, this uh, policeman, um, as I think you will see, takes very common pride in his um, accomplishments. But one thing about this is that probably um, he is, um, and, and he wants to use, they're word men. The Elizabethans are word men. Shakespeare is word men. And um, the police um, uses as big, long words as he possibly can. But because he didn't grow up with them, because he's not used to them, Many of these words are mispronounced, are garbled, and are used incorrectly. And um, the guy who's playing the policeman does a uh, really good job with this. You have to listen uh, carefully um, to see for where he is, um, thinks he's uh, speaking very well, and they're speaking very badly. These are called malapropisms. Um, when you um, use, uh, when you mix up <clears throat> a word and use it in the wrong um, context. But I would like to hear from any of you, do any of you have any questions at all about what you're about to see? Yeah. No. <laughs> There's going to be characters coming down the aisle. There's going to be characters coming out um, from all directions, there's going to be music, there's going to be dance, what more would you have on the Monday morning? Um, at, at. Hopefully you will not 
They've been working hard. You may have even seen them on the yard practicing their lines. So I just really want to welcome you and uh, let you know that you're you're here in a greater purpose than what may have been you know initially appear. And with that, I'm going to turn it over to Leslie. Um, we wouldn't be able to do Shakespeare at San Quentin without Steve Emmerich and I would um, yeah. Marin Shakespeare Company is a professional theater. We put on productions in the summer at Dominican University, which is just a couple miles from here. I hope someday everybody in this room will be able to come out and sit under the stars in the summer and see a Shakespeare production at Forest Meadows. We also do Shakespeare education programs with students um, starting from five-year-olds, um, uh, elementary school students, middle school students, and adults, and we're very happy to share Shakespeare here with our student actors, because our actors today are all students of Shakespeare, they're all studying Shakespeare. Uh, here at San Quentin. We believe that Shakespeare is something that should be shared with everybody. Uh, Shakespeare was perhaps the most thoughtful writer uh, who, who ever put pen to paper. Uh, his characters and stories have something to teach us all. His vocabulary excels <coughs> any other writers. And the, the um, performers you're going to see today have spent the last seven months working with this material. They've had a weekly class. Uh, they put in a lot of time outside of their class, learning their lines, and you can see our beautiful scenic artists have created some, some beautiful backdrops for the play. Uh, Sarai Keating, the director of this play, uh, has uh, brought uh, her passion uh, to this, to, to this uh, uh, production. And I'd like to thank also Jonathan Gonzalez, who was our first Shakespeare teacher here at San Quentin. We've been doing Shakespeare classes here for five years, and this is the first time that we've been able to do a performance in the chapel, which has allowed us to invite all of you all to join us here today. And so we're very grateful to the, the people at San Quentin who allowed us to be here in this room so that you could share this today as well. Um, at the conclusion of our performance, for our outside guests, we'll have a question and answer time with the director and the actors. So if you have any questions, um, we'll, we'll answer them then. Um, I hope you will enjoy this performance. It's, um, it's um, just a, a great, great pleasure to be able to bring Shakespeare to you all today. Thank you. Let's go out and start the production. Yeah. 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 Yeah.